Hello friends, um, again, very impromptu video. I am sitting here with my two like little taco thingies. I'm going out tonight with one of my friends from boarding school. who We're going to this really cool place called Hijingo. I think I'm saying that right. It's a bingo place, but it's not like an old people bingo place. It has like lights. It's more of like a show. You get drinks, there's a bar, there's food. A little part of it will be like a get ready with me, but I'm also going to take you with me to the bingo place. And if I'm allowed to record, record as much as I can. I'm basically just going to take you out with me on my night in London. It is a Friday night. And this is the first Friday night that I've actually gone out in months, like literally months. First step is to eat my dinner. Right, so please, let's just ignore how dirty my mirror is. I don't know if you can, s yeah, you can. Let's just ignore that. This is my outfit right now. We are wearing a jumper and sweatpants. And we're not looking the best. Let's just put it that way. I have eaten my food and I did that earlier so that I have time to like digest before like having our cocktails and whatever. But I am going to shower now and then get ready and I'll speak to you when I'm getting ready. I am back. I just had my shower. My hair is quite nice today so I don't know whether to just leave it the way it is or straighten it a bit like the bottom half of it. When I'm like trying to part my hair I usually take like the end of a paintbrush and I get the middle and I split it and then it's pretty much in the middle okay well I usually always do my hair before I do my makeup however I don't think I'm gonna do anything to my hair today it's quite like straight on its own so I'm gonna start doing my makeup some moisturizer first I have very oily skin so I actually don't need moisturizer however because I've just come out of the shower my skin is a bit dry I wouldn't normally wear like that much makeup but my friend always looks good when she goes out so I need to like match somewhere with that so I'm gonna put a bit more makeup than i usually do first i need some primer i honestly think for me like especially people with oily skin the more products you put on your face obviously like the faster you'll become oily is what i go by just have some tarte concealer that is so much um i have a beauty blender i have like a little water like spritzer thing here it's a bit broken so it's kind of dripping but it does the job now i'm just gonna blend that a tiny bit of setting powder that's pretty much all i do for my face i know i look a bit weird but it will all come together in the end i'm gonna do my eyebrows now but i quickly wanted to talk about sassy saints excuse the like dried water marks on this but sassy saints is an eyebrow lamination company but it's not like a normal eyebrow lamination where you like go into the salon and get it done they actually sell home kits so you can do it for yourself the kits come with everything that you need in this little thing they also have cotton pads the cling film and the different tools that you need to use it's so so easy to use and i'm not gonna lie before this i never really done anything to my eyebrows besides threading my eyebrows however my eyebrows are extremely thin and they're like very very patchy however about a week ago i used the kit for the first time and i went through all the different steps i've seen good reviews online and honestly I agree with the reviews it's actually so good and now that i've like discovered this i'm gonna be using it so much more often i'm gonna show you a little like before picture and after picture of what my eyebrows look like as you can see they might look a bit crazy like right after the treatment however like a day after they become so like natural and so much more fuller and kind of gave me the illusion that i had more eyebrow than i actually have so thank you very much for Sassy Saints for sending this over. I definitely recommend them and I'll even have a discount code in my description box for 10% off. So I just kind of use this Benefit pencil to fill them in a little bit. So a little bit on this eyebrow, a little bit on this one. So my sister called me and while she was talking to me I just did a bit of eyeshadow and I also just put eyeliner under my eyes. Literally all I'm gonna do more is some blush some highlighter i found a really really good combination of mascara you first put the better the first put the Too faced better than sex mascara and then i have a lancome like voluminous waterproof one which is really really good as well but of course you gotta curl the eyelashes first literally look at that i don't know if you can see the difference between the one with mascara and the one without okay those are my eyelashes done all I'm going to do for my lips is I'm going to put the first coat of baby lips 
you know what i think people are sleeping on baby lips it was like very popular once and it's still so good so i don't know why people stopped using it i'm wearing just a white top so i'm just gonna put on jeans as well and i'm planning to wear my docks i think it's gonna look really cute the only thing is is that i know i'm gonna be freezing because I don't know what jumper or if I'm even going to wear a jumper on top of this. Um, I have a coat, obviously, but it's cold, man. It's cold now. Right. So, I put this jacket on, but I don't like it. I'm not feeling it, like, at all. And my hair is, like, very flat. Or, I have this jacket. Wait. This one is more, like, sophisticated. I have my life together. Do we like this more? It gives me like blazer vibes. It is a blazer. I look like, like a school principal or something. What if I tie my hair? One thing that I've been into is like the low buns. But that makes me look like an old lady. That You know what? I'm going to put the blue one on. There we go. Okay, this is the final look. I'm not feeling like as good about it as I wanted to, but we move and we have to figure out what to do because I have to leave now. Like, I'm gonna go now. These are my shoes, if you're wondering. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, maybe I don't look that bad. I only look a little bit bad. Okay, let's try to do this in one take. So I took the tube to get their really pretty cool like Japanese themed lights and decor. This is my friend, she's so pretty. This is the entrance, lots of like cool flashing lights. We had a really good seat, that's the name of the game. The numbers came up on the screen one by one, it went kind of fast. But you had your card, you just circle, get your different patterns. If you think you have a bingo or hijingo, whatever it is, these robots tell you to come up on stage. You do a little dance while everybody's clapping for you and cheering for you. Then comes a little scanning part. Your face is nice and big for everyone to see and you win if you have a bingo card. And we also ordered some pretty yummy food. Came in our package as well as these yummy cocktails. Well, they weren't that yummy, but yeah. Then they were really sweet and they gave us some free shots while we were waiting there because we did not want to go home. But it was getting late. So I took the tube back home and yeah, that was it. Hey guys, I'm back. People say that like 40 minutes traveling in London is actually not a lot, but it's a long time, especially when you're traveling from like 10 o'clock to 10.45 after like a whole day or nights when the two people are on strike. It's a mess. But when it comes to the actual place that we went to, it was so cool. If you want to know what it's called, it's called Hijingo. It's a bingo place, but it's very like the atmosphere is just really good. It can get a little bit pricey, but you do get some drinks and you get like little plates of food as well, like little side starters and stuff. And if you do win, you win some prizes. The prizes are not like crazy prizes, but somebody did win a bicycle. Somebody did win a hundred pounds. People also won like rounds of drinks for their table. So if you win that's good but then even if you don't win like me and my friend neither of us won but the just the atmosphere was really good to be fair i can't be complaining it's like not even 11 p.m and i'm already home on a friday night ready to put my pajamas on and go into bed the outfit was a good choice i'm not gonna lie because even though i was cold when i was like walking to places in the tube and like in the event itself it was really really warm so i got to take out my jacket and just be like in my top these shoes a little bit painful to walk in i can't lie but it's fine it is over i had a really really good time so all i have left to do today is put my pajamas on take all my makeup off eat this banana that i got from reception and then I'm probably gonna watch some Netflix and then go to sleep. Good night and see you in the next video.